Hi everybody, um, envelope junk journal, four and a half by six and a half, decoupage napkin for a cover and closure is a piece of a sort of burgundy red sari silk. Um, a wee bit of lace down the signature as well. In fact I've tied it upside down, what am I like? There we go. Right, so inside cover is scrapbooking paper and I have done a wee tag with, um, I don't think you can see it terribly well, it's a doily down the bottom, a wee image I've cut out from one of my um, book tags, a wee bit of lace there with a pin in it, and a wee pearl, half back pearl, and another wee row of pearls with the, and the story begins. And I've got another wee bit of doily up the top there. Um, that's it, not really a lot I can say about that. Right, this is a digital image that I did myself. Kind of swithering as to whether or not... It's not... I haven't done it as a kit as such. Um, it's just vintage images, and that's that's the whole crux of this book. It's, it's just vintage. Um, I've got a... I've got, I know at least one of my subscribers comes from Liverpool, and she may well recognise some of the names in this map, because as far as I know, I think it's an old... Uh, an old map of Liverpool. So there you go. Right, so on the inside, got a wee B down the bottom. Book page from Pride and Prejudice, that I've distressed, tearing round the edge there and using a wee bit of distress ink. I've distressed the life out my infamina, literally. Um, the tea staining uh, made some of it run, but it does certainly add to the vintage look uh, of everything that I've done. That's the first tuck spot there. Pages are tea stained as well. Um, I went collage mad, mad again, so I, I was having a collage, as Bugs would say. Uh, we've got two different papers here, which are kind of wood effect, wood grain effect, uh, music paper, piece of kind of orange coloured scrapbooking paper, a wee bit of lace up the top, my, my image of a uh, pretty lady, a wee bit of stamping behind her as well, another wee bit of lace down the bottom and a little sort of resin heart that's kind of paralysed. Uh, square doily, another one of my new images. If I do do this as a kit, it, it will just literally be vintage images. Uh, there is no particular theme. I don't know if other folk find that as attractive as I do. Um, chunky monkey. I don't like to get tied down to particular things. Uh, we done the one card uh, I made and we piece of, I think it's Tsunami Rose ephemera and I added some uh, tea stain paper to the back, so we bit torn and whatever, just for an um, ink top for a bit extra added age look about it. Oh, and I did the uniquely handmade Crafty Irina stand in the bank and yet again I managed to do it to the side. I don't know why I can't do that stamp straight. It's uh, obviously just one of my wee foibles. Um, maybe it's because I'm really determined to let you know that it is handmade. Uh, another collage here. Uh, this one is uh, stamping at the back. Wood grain papers again, a kind of burgundy paper. This was from an old handkerchief and I just cut a wee bit of the floral image out of it. A um, couple of bits of lace and my image of my girl. Here we've got another collage. It's on one of Crafty Irina's big, uh, what do you call them? Big glassine bags. Here uh, we've got, I think that's, it's, it's, if you like, it's a kind of homage to, uh, what's her name? Laurie Girl on the Ridge. And Moira, Woman on the Edge. Uh, a piece of ephemera in the back. If you if you've been watching her in Junk Journal Junkies, she did a video on this as well, Laurie. Uh, she did a piece of she shrunk down some of Tsunami Rose's ephemera, so I did the same. This is actually from a Kaiser Craft ephemera pack. That's from the Tsunami Rose ephemera as well. This is just an image from one of my sorry, I've not got that on the screen. It's one of my images from a library card that I did. Uh, we've got a wee row of pearls down the bottom here on top of a couple of different laces and a couple of just wee pearlised buttons up the top. 
inside here I have uh, one of my postcards which is available I believe in my Etsy shop by Gones Cards for all your good thing card needs uh, another one of my pages there sorry I've not got it in the it would really help if I had it in the right get my neck to knock it out of the camera uh, had it in the right area uh, just flowers and wee bees and whatever uh, Crafty Irina's ledger paper Tuck spot here and I've got uh, just a wee digital card that I did and one of my bookmarks which is available in my Etsy shop by Gons Cards for all your booking card needs uh, Another one of my digital images here Book page Wee doily uh, Another one of my digital images here Like I said, I mean they're all just the, the whole crux set is they're all kind of vintage there isn't anything in particular. Centre of the signature, it's only one signature. I discovered, see when I was going to um, put the Sari Silk round it earlier, I discovered that I hadn't actually tightened the signature and I thought, what, what was I thinking? Um, and I, I looked and I thought, oh, God, how, how am I going to fix this? But then I realised I'd actually only to tied it in a bow. Um, so I had a wee bit of jiggery pokery because I used waxed thread, waxed linen thread, which uh, really does tighten up, I have to say. Well, at least the note does. So I've loosened it out, tightened the signature, uh, and everything's as it should be. Now, um, if you watched the video of when um, Crafty Irina sent me the big package, this was one of her uh, time cards, is it? What I did here was, it's folded over just on the page. Um, it's really just intended as a wee bit of ephemera. It's a decoupage paper, uh, I can't remember who it is, I think it might be Dovecraft or somebody like that that did it. Mm -hmm. And that's, I don't know if you can hear the whimpering, it's Daisy at the door because she's watching squirrels. Shh, squirrels, I shouldn't say that loud. Uh, one of the pieces of Tsunami Rose's ephemera, wee white feather and some uh, paper flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I've got, I've got hundreds of flowers and some of them are very, very big. It's uh, so big that they make it awkward to put on anything. But these are wee itty bitty tiny ones uh, with a wee leaf. And here is another wee bit of that fabric uh, handkerchief and a wee bit of lace on top of it and a little gold button. So it's, it's just intended as a wee bit of the uh, extra attractive uh, ephemera in the book. It's just held on with a wee gold paper clip. Right, so on to the gold. Another one of my images. Doily, book page. Wee birdies. A collage. Um, background stamping. Did uh, kind of orangey paper from a scrapbooking pad piece of gold coloured lace and a wee bit of ivory lace with a wee pearl, music paper and the wood grain paper and then I stamped over it. Um, I think it was Ephemera's Vintage Garden many many moons ago did a video that I've watched a number of times uh, about uh, doing collages on uh, tags and one of the things she had said is, you know, don't be afraid to stamp on your image. And I can understand what she means because it does add to uh, the authenticity of the look, if you like. Because I haven't, I, I didn't stamp on the girl, but certainly, I mean, it, it's like, I think it's a W plus nine stamp of kind of aged spots. And it just, just goes well with the rest of the image. Right, over the page we've got a wee distressed tag of mine. Journal paper, one of my images, one of my images, a glassy bag again with a collage, um, another piece of uh, Tsunami Rose's ephemera here that was shrunk down, a couple of different scrapbooking papers, this a wee bit of Tim Holtz floral ephemera, a little bit of, uh, strangely enough, the Sari Silk that's tying the book. Tsunami Rose and just a wee image and the picture was too big for the page so I had to tear it to get it to fit in uh, but again when you tear them it tends to look old and distressed well it is an old and distressed picture uh, got that one for Pinterest I think collage here 
and another bit of that, a handkerchief with the lace, a bit of gold coloured lace, stamping, papers and the image. Leave it stamp in there and that's that distressed sports stamp. Tuck spot with one of my tags, one of my wee bookmarks available for sale in my Etsy store. Digital download, oops, thrown it away. Um, remember bank loans cards for all your baking card needs and junk jumble needs, can't you think of that? Uh, tsunami Rose and it's backed onto a wee bit of tea stained paper. Book page from Pride and Prejudice. One of my images there, doily. And here I have attached an envelope. There's nothing in it at the moment, but it's there as an extra tuck for you. I decoupaged a piece of rice paper uh, so you can uh, Butts in some sort of purple flower, violets or something, and I just it's it is actually definitely stuck down, and I've managed to put this wee bit of washi tape kind of at a wee jaunty angle, not intentional. It was meant to be straight, but sometimes you know what it's like. Uh, it's not as if it detracts from it in any way. Handmade, unique. What can I say? Um, so you can put your wee bits and bobs in there. Book page and the last which is that map of Liverpool. And that's it. So there you go, that is a, that book and I really like it. I think it's, I mean it's for, for me it's very full. I maybe should have done it uh, over more than one signature but uh, what the heck, sometimes you just like to love dangerously. It's um, very, very vintagey. It's got my nice wee collages, and I like my collages, as you know. And it's also got some papers. You can let me know what you think of the papers, for I know you're interested in them, to, you know, we have you to me doing a, I'd name as a pack, but it would just be as a vintage pack. It wouldn't have a theme as such. So I don't know, that might put folk off. Or it might inspire folk, I don't know. Anyway, that's us. Uh, please leave comments, let me know how you feel about it and if there's anything else that I can uh, advise as regards the book, give me a wee shout. It will be for sale in my Etsy shop when I get myself organised and I do all my downloadings here. Uh, so thanks very much for your time and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!